Hi everyone, welcome to Learn to Spark. In this video, you are going to learn about a quick cube root method to find the root of any perfect cube number. It can be applied for any number of digits to find the result in just 2 seconds. It works really like a magic. So watch it till the end without skipping the video. Let's start without further ado. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, to make it work like a magic, you got to take some preparation like the magician does before a magic show. You have to memorize the cubes of first 10 natural numbers before you go for this trick. It's so easy. Just remember the cubes of 2 to 9. Along with that, you have to memorize certain points. Number 1. Units place never changes for the numbers end with 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Point 2. Units place get interchanged for the numbers end with 2, 8, 3, 7. Which means if the number has 2 in its units place, its cube root will have 8 in the units place and vice versa. It's applicable for 3 and 7 as well. Like if it's 3, it will be changed to 7 and 7 will be replaced with 3 as well. Initially, you just write down the cubes of first 10 natural number before you start. Let's start with a 4 digit number. First, you have to split it up into two groups. The last three digits should be in one group and the remaining should be in another group. Consider the first group which contains 4 which falls between two perfect cube numbers that is 1 and 8. Always take the cube root of the smallest number between the given two. Here it is 1. Take down 1 for the final answer. Now consider the units place of the second group which is 6 here and as the rule says 6 never get changed. So 6 will come down for the final answer and your answer is 16. See it's just like a magic, isn't it? Now let's try another perfect cube number. This time I will go for a bigger one. Let's do it with a 5 digit number that is 13824. Split it up into two groups, last three in one group and remaining in another. Consider the first group which contains 13, which falls between two perfect cube number 8 and 27. Now find the root of the smallest number that is 2 here and bring it down for your final answer. Now consider the units place that is 4, which will directly come down as it never changes. So your final answer is 24. Hope this method is clear to you now. Now let's do one more sum to make our concepts clear and improve our skills. Let's take a 6 digit number and split up into two groups. Consider the first group which is 103 which falls between two perfect cube number that is 64 and 125. Now find the cube root of the smallest number that is 64 which comes 4. Bring down 4 for your final answer and consider the units place that is 3 as I mentioned earlier, 3 should be replaced with 7. Bring down 7 for your answer. And your final answer is 47. Isn't it like a magic? Now, the more you practice, more you will be improving your calculation skills, which will help you to do this sum in just a few seconds. So, keep practicing and keep on improving. At last, I have a small solicitation for you. If you find this video helpful or motivating even a little bit, then please subscribe this channel to support us and share it right now with your friends or loved ones to motivate them as well. You can also leave your valuable comments about the topic of the next video you would like to watch because our sole objective is to help you. That's it for now. We will be back with a new video every other weekend. Until then, keep learning, keep sparkling. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.